AITA for snapping at my nephew because he ate my daughter's food. So, my daughter, 6F, is a very picky eater. Not in the sense that she will pout and whine if she doesn't like what's on her plate but more like. She actually throw up and have something resembling a mini panic attack. Because of that whenever we have our weekly dinners with my husband's side of the family my mill will make a separate dish for my daughter that she knows she will like. My daughter hate most spices so most of the time no one else like her food so there's no need to make it a dish for everyone. Two days ago we had our dinner and we were running a little late because it has been a bad day for my daughter and we were both irritated at that point. When we got there I saw my nephew, 15, eating my daughter food. I knew it was hers since she was having a completely different dish than everyone else in my mill. Had told me what it was. And send me a picture to show my daughter since it was a new recipe she was trying. My daughter also saw it and stayery bawling. It was a very hard day for her already and I guess this was what finally broke her. Everyone came running into the kitchen to see what was happening and when Mu Sil saw what her son was doing she immediately scolded him but the damage was done. I gave my daughter to my husband and asked to wait for me in the car. Once they left I snapped at my nephew that just because his parents never taught him to shut his mouth for a little while doesn't mean he can just eat whatever he wants. He knew it was my daughter food. He knew how she is about food and he still chose to eat it. I gave my sill a hard look and left. Everyone had been bombing the family group chat fighting over who is on the wrong. Edit. I see it coming up a lot. By my sill scolding my nephew I meant that she pointed at my daughter's food. Told him not to that next time since it's his cousin food and lightly slapped his wrist like he's a 5 years old. Also my daughter's food was on the other end of the counter so no one will get confused. AITA? I'm torn because you shouldn't have snapped at him. His mother can deal with him. But also, he's 15, not 7. And as you said, he knows what your daughter's like. Definitely get your daughter checked please. This so concerning. Esh. Info, she had already scolded him so what did you hope to accomplish by, giving her a hard look? YTA it's close to an E, S, H but honestly. I don't know your nephew's intentions. I doubt you do either. It could have been an honest mistake. But you blew up at him and it sounds like you didn't give him a chance to explain himself. I understand you were frustrated because of other issues surrounding your daughter. But that doesn't give you a right to take it out on your nephew. Yes he messed up. But your sill was handling it in an appropriate manner. Not berating him in an unproductive and unhelpful way. On another note. Have you gotten your daughter screened for autism? Or other issues with sensory processing? Maybe ARFID? Getting her some help and support now may help you and your husband manage these kinds of situations in the future. You're burned out so I understand that you snapped in the moment. But please reflect on how it wasn't the best way to handle this at all. YTA. It was up to your sill to deal with her son. You keep your big mouth out of it. Plus. You don't even know what precipitated this. As you weren't there. You were late. It was your MIL's dinner to serve so she should have said something about. This is daughters food please don't eat it it was sil's job to make sure her kid had manners enough to know not to eat someone else's food above all it's sil's responsibility to deal with her son keep out of it maybe get your kid checked out picky eaters don't vomit she may have something medical going on you're the asshole and I say that as the parent of two kids with food allergies and one who is autistic with severe sensory issues and food aversions who eats very few things. You absolutely tore into a child. Yes. 15 is still a child. For eating food that was set out with the rest of the food when they were hungry. 
You are the asshole here. You can provide food for your own child next time. Or make more of an effort to be on time. Or if you are running late ask that a plate be set aside. You don't get to be an asshole to the other kid. Regardless of your child's reaction, your child's emotional regulation is not the responsibility of other people. Is your child in therapy? What you are describing sounds like food aversions and sensory defensiveness. Not ordinary pickiness. OTPT can help them to develop skills to help process disappointment and upsets to their situational expectations. YTA. Your sister-in-law didn't owe you a performance of her punishing her son. She may not have had a big reaction in front of the whole family and could have already been prepared to dish out additional punishment once home. But you should get your daughter checked out. YTA. It's up to the SIL to determine what is fit. You were not there. So you have no clue what happened prior. Mill cooked it. So it's on her to say something. I'm surprised no one has brought up the fact that the teenager may not be fed enough at home and may be food insecure. The teenager clearly is not getting enough food by this behavior and needs more food. He was probably starving because the portion he was given clearly wasn't enough. Kids that age eat an exorbitant amount of food to function. That's on the sill for not feeding him enough. Your daughter isn't a picky eater. Something is medically wrong. YTA. You took out your frustration in dealing with your daughter's difficult day on a 15-year-old. What did you want his mother to do at that point? Make him throw it up? Your words were attacking to your nephew and insulting to your sill. You owe both an apology. YTA I'd never attend another family dinner until you apologize to him and me. You need to learn to control yourself. YTA. And it sounds like your daughter has a serious unaddressed eating disorder that you're enabling. Is she in counseling? It's not normal to have panic attacks and vomit over being given food we don't like. YTA. Mew Sil saw what her son was doing she immediately scolded him. So Sil, the parent, had dealt with it. I gave my daughter to my husband and asked to wait for me in the car. Once they left, you had time to think about what the appropriate response might be here. I snapped at my nephew that just because his parents never taught him to shut his mouth for a little while doesn't mean he can just eat whatever he wants. He knew it was my daughter food. He knew how she is about food and he still chose to eat it. I gave my sill a hard look and left. This was not appropriate or proportionate. Your sill had handled the situation. Absolutely no need for you to speak to your nephew like that. If you'd calmly explained the issue to him, I'd say okay, but your language wasn't on. YTA. Why were you shaming your sill and giving her dirty looks when you said she had already scolded her son for eating the food when she found out? Did you think you were accomplishing something? My wife has similar issues with food. And did while growing up. Everyone thought she was weird and just a picky eater. As an adult, she was diagnosed with autism. Finally explaining her issues with food. Please have your daughter evaluated. It would have changed my wife's life for the better had she been diagnosed as a child. Uda. YTA I don't think you influenced the situation in any way by yelling at him. Made it made you feel a sense of control over the situation? Or a sense of doing something in some way? YTA for how you spoke to a child and for not getting your daughter the help she clearly needs. YTA. You're a terrible parent and your daughter is the one that needs more discipline than a slap on the wrist. Little princess can't eat certain foods so a whole dish needs to be made so princess doesn't start vomiting. You're raising a brat and you decided to take it out on your nephew.
Your daughter is in for a rude awakening as she gets older and she doesn't have her psychotic mother there to spoil her. YTA. Your cell already dealt with it. You didn't snap at him. You used it as an excuse to insult SIL's parenting. You sound exhausting YTA. YTA. I understand your reaction though. It sounds like you genuinely try yo make things easier for your daughter despite how difficult it is. I commend you for that. But. The 15-year-old was scolded by his mother. It truly wasn't your place to jump in because you thought his mother didn't do a good enough job. It sounds more like you took out your frustration and anger from the whole day on him. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.